Hey everyone, today I want to talk about the new Dungeon Master's Guide Deep Dive that Wizards released. This was a conversation with Chris Perkins and provides a lot of interesting information about where they're going with the Dungeon Master's Guide. As I listened to some of the details of what we can expect from this new Dungeon Master's Guide, it started to all sound a little bit familiar to me, but I'll get to that in a little bit. First, let's talk about what was shared. The first thing of note is Chris Perkins made it clear that these new books will be 5 ebooks. They are not 5.5, they are not 6e, they will be 5th edition. This was also confirmed from what has been shared by those that went to the Creator Summit a few weeks ago. I get the impression that they are either going to be including a year in the title or expecting people to refer to the books by the year that it was released. So this would be the 2024 Dungeon Master's Guide. I'm a little leery of this approach. Uh, Microsoft tried it several years ago with Windows 95, Windows 98, and the associated versions of Office, and they quickly realized that there are three problems with this. First, it makes the product seem very out of date very quickly. The book will be released in June of 2024, but just six months later, it's going to be 2025, and it'll seem like that book is already old. It'll also make it harder to know if the book that you have is the latest version. After the 2024 book is released, when will the next one come out? 2025? 2027? If the current year is 2026, how do I know if the 2024 Dungeon Master's Guide is still the most current release? And then there's confusion if not every book is updated at the same time. Chris Perkins mentioned in the interview that they are going to be staggering the releases of the different books. So even if all three of the books come out in 2024, but if we only get an updated player's handbook in 2025, and then we don't get another Dungeon Master's Guide until 2026, and who knows when a monster manual comes out, then you're going to end up with a mix of core rule books that all came out in different years, and it can be really hard to figure out if you actually have the most recent ones. So it's just opportunities for confusion. Um, I'm not really sure if that's the way that they're going to go with it. It seems like it, because that was actually even the thumbnail for this video included a year in that title. Uh, we'll see where it goes. I'm very interested to see what happens here. But what about the content itself? They talked a bit about the goals for this Dungeon Master's Guide. The Dungeon Master's Guide, they want to have better organization. They want it to be focused on new Dungeon Masters and the things that they need. And they want it to include stuff that can actually be used. I like that Chris Perkins actually went through the table of contents for the new Dungeon Master's Guide. He talked about that chapter one would be the basics, and then there would be a chapter about walking through the common gameplay elements. Chapter three would be a rules compendium with things that are not in the player's handbook. Then you'd have adventure building, a chapter on campaign building, a chapter on cosmology, then magic items. And then he mentioned chapter eight would be a surprise. He didn't actually say what would be in that. And then finally, some appendices, including a poster map. I like that they're emphasizing the things needed for a new Dungeon Master, the basics, the fundamentals. I never liked that so much of the 5th edition Dungeon Master's Guide is about the planes and building huge adventures and campaigns. It's really intimidating for someone who might be just getting started as a Dungeon Master, and the first thing you're confronted with is the different planes of existence and how you build out all this cosmology. Really intimidating for someone, and I'm glad that they're kind of taking a different approach here. Then he mentions that some of the content from Tasha's Cauldron of Everything and Xanathar's Guide to Everything will be moving into the core Dungeon Master's Guide. He specifically mentioned the section about Session Zero from Tasha's, and I think that's great. Session Zeros are wonderful, especially if you're going to be running a table with people that you don't really know. And I love a lot of the content from both those books. I think they're two of the best supplemental books for 5th edition, so I'm really glad to see a lot of that content is going to be in the core Dungeon Master's Guide. And then the more advanced stuff can move into some supplemental books. Two other interesting things that came up was the chapter that, that is a rules compendium. I think this is going to be like a quick reference guide that you might see in a starter set. Just a very basic overview of all the core rules that you need with a, maybe a little description and possibly even a reference to somewhere else in the book that you can go to get a more detailed explanation of what that rule is. So interested to see how that one plays out. The one I really liked is one of the appendices that he mentioned, and that is the lore glossary. One of the things when you're just getting started in Dungeons and Dragons is you're not familiar with things like Forgotten Realms and Tiamat and Waterdeep and Drizzt and all these other things that have been around for decades, they're completely new to you. And when they come up in an adventure or referenced by some other players, then you might kind of be like, oh, what is that? I don't know. And it's hard to figure out where to even go to look for those things because you can go to a campaign guide, you can go to an adventure and you got to find all these places where this stuff is. And sure, you can Google it and there's lots of places with information there, but it's a lot to take in. 
So if they have this lore glossary where you have all these key elements in one place with just a very brief description of what they are, then you can fill yourself in at a moment's notice right in the middle of your campaign, just flip to that page and, oh, that's what TMA is. Got it. Okay. And then you can keep on going with your campaign. So I think that's really great. I like what they're doing with that. They also mentioned that they want to use a lot of examples to show some of the key concepts rather than just telling you how they work. They want to have a lot of things that you can just pull right out of this book and use in your adventure or your campaign. They want to even have have some adventure components that you could use right out of the box without having to come up with everything on your own. I think that's a really good approach. There was an interesting part in the middle of the interview where they talked about what it means to be a dungeon master. It sounds like there's going to be some really nice advice in this book about dungeon mastering and improvising and listening and how to get yourself out of trouble if you're backed into a corner. I think they want to have some really great tools to help people be better DMs. And this is where I started to get the feeling that I've seen this before. Focusing on the basics, a core set of rules, the fundamentals of adventure building, lots of examples, an adventure that you can use right away, session zero, how to be a better DM. This is the fourth edition Dungeon Master's Guide. I've talked at length before about how I think the fourth edition Dungeon Master's Guides are some of the best Dungeon Master's Guides out there. And from what I heard in this interview, it sounds like they're dusting off that same approach and will be using it for this new book. You can see in the 4th edition Dungeon Master's Guide table of contents, it hits a lot of the same notes that Chris mentioned in the interview. Running the game, all the basics about building encounters, adventures, campaigns, a toolbox for the Dungeon Master. In Dungeon Master's Guide 2, you have the guidance for storytelling, advanced encounters, and creating high-level campaigns. Both of these books have tons of examples that you can pull out and use directly in your adventures. The Dungeon Master's Guide even has a campaign setting in the form of the City of Fallcrest and a short adventure that you can use to get you started. These books are really great for new Dungeon Masters. They are wonderfully structured and they provide tons of examples that you can use in your adventure. I think it's a great direction to take with it. 5th edition is notoriously difficult for Dungeon Masters, while 4th edition was quite the opposite. I'm very interested to see what comes of this. If the new Dungeon Master's Guide follows a similar track to 4th edition, then that is a wonderful thing. During the interview, he acknowledged that the 5th edition Dungeon Master's Guide was not as thought out as they would have liked, so I'm glad to see that they are acknowledging that and they're taking the time to do it better this time around. But let me know your thoughts. Until next time, take care.